Hey, this is Timmy G. Welcome to the 11th edition of my tutorial series on DJ Pro 2 for Mac by Algorithm. Today's tutorial will talk about video mode and photo beat mode in DJ Pro 2. Let's get started. So to view video mode, we want to go all the way to the top right to this little monitor looking icon and click. And now we're in video mode. So I'm just going to look at this deck for today, but it's the same on both decks here. Um, so right here, we're in photo mode. Uh, this is our video mode and this is our visualizer mode. I'll talk about visualizer uh, mode in a different tutorial. So back to uh, photo mode. Um, we can either drag photos from DJ Pro 2 or we can drag photos from an outside source. Um, to do it from DJ Pro 2, you'd go click here and then this will show you your videos. This will show your your photos. I don't really have my photos organized on my computer, so I'm going to um, drag them in from an outside source from Finder. So I'm going to get out a full screen right here. And here are the my uh, album artwork for all my tracks. And I'm just going to drag these all in here where it says drop photos here. And now they're all loaded in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load a track. And I'm going to load robots for now. And I can either drag it where it says load audio here or right here, doesn't matter. So before I start playing the track, um, right here where it says one fourth of a beat, this shows how fast the photo changes. So every one fourth of a beat, we get a new photo, AKA uh, every beat, there are four photos that are shown. And this is the fastest and you can get to every half beat, every beat, every two beats, and then every four beats uh, is the slowest. I'll play the track and I'll show you all the different speeds, what it looks like. Um, no matter how many photos you put here, they will loop. So even if you only put a few photos, they'll continuously loop as the whole song is playing. So anyway, here is what the uh, photo beat mode looks like um, when the track is playing. And now I'm going to change it to two beats. And now I'm going to change it to one beat. Now a half. Now a quarter. So there is a range of uh, speeds that you can mess around with. One quick thing to mention is there was a couple of photos that uh, I had as duplicates just in different um, quality, so it might not have looked like it was changing at the right rate, but uh, it actually was. It was just changing from the same picture just to a different quality. If you want to change the order of the photos, you click right here. And now, for some reason, my, th this is not showing me the exact photo, but it should be showing it, but I can click and drag and change the order of the photos. Um, obviously, this would be a lot more helpful if you could see which one is which, but um, I don't exactly know why this isn't working right now, but on your uh, copy of DJ Pro 2, this should work if you do want to change the order of the photos. You also could just drag them in a different order and rearrange them uh, beforehand in a, in a different order. Now on to loading videos. Um, I'm gonna go to back here. And loading videos is a bit more uh, complex. We have more options when we're loading videos. So uh, these are the stock videos and these will um, loop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag one. Let's just say I'll drag the cubes video. And then right here it says load video. I could also click here on this video strip and do the same thing. But since this video right here does not have any sound, our track um, 
stays on here. So now I'm gonna play the track. And we just see this um, stock video looping to our track. This will be the same for um, all of these stock videos. Uh, but now I'm going to load a video that does have music, and you'll see that there are more than one option to load. So I'm going to pull that up right now. So right now I am gonna, going to load in the little music video that I made for my uh, Pokemon Evolving Theme Remix. And watch what happens when I drag this in. So now I have three different options. I can either load the audio and video, just load the video, or just load the audio. So first I'm just going to load the video. So when I just load the video, my track here stays. So when I play this, the video will play without the sound and then my track that's still loaded will play with the sound. Now I'm going to load both the video and the audio. So now I'm going to play this and we'll see the video and um, the audio from this video. I'm going to jump ahead right here. So there you can hear that we uh, loaded both the video and the audio. For the last option, I'm going to add on uh, the stock video again to show you what it would look like. So now I am just going to go back here and then I'm going to do load audio up here. So now the video stays the same but we get the audio from the video that I just loaded. So I'm going to play that. One last thing to mention is that you can scratch with the video uh, mode. So to do that, you just hit play, and then you're gonna be scratching up and down. So if I'm, I'm gonna click and drag and then scratch. So that's pretty cool to notice, um, and that the video will be uh, scratching I guess you could say, with the audio that you're scratching with. In the next few tutorials, we'll be looking at uh, the visualizer mode and putting video effects onto our uh, visualizer and our videos. Uh, I'll also be doing a tutorial on the main screen, um, the transitions, and the different screen options that you have. Uh, but other than that, that's about it. If you like this video, or if it helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or video suggestions, be sure to leave a comment. If you want to see more content like this and check out my original music, DJ performances, and sound design tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.